today is Ms. Angie Wright Reeves, and she is here to share with us from her perspective what love is, her experience of love, and how she allows love in and through her life. My name is Tracy Johnson of Allowing Love, and thank you so much, Ms. Angie, for agreeing to be a part of the show today. Thank you for having me, Tracy. It's a real pleasure. I would like, first of all, for you to share with our viewers who you are. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, who am I? <laughs> well, as you said, I'm Angie Wright Reeves. Uh, I'm a daughter, a sister, a mom, a wife, an attorney at the Georgia Court of Appeals, and basically, you know, just um, somebody who um, is striving each and every day to figure out how to give more love and to get more love and actually when you ask me about being on the show and and the theme of the show being love it really made me kind of um, question just what that means and how that looks in my life so thank you for allowing me to take that journey well that's wonderful I'm so glad that that opened up the door for you to really think about it mm -hmm. so with that being said um, from your perspective, how would you define love? How would I define love? And um, I think for me, um, love is just about the most vulnerable state that you can exist in, you know, when you're living. Um, it ebbs and flows and changes and redirects and all. I think about, uh, for me now, being a mom and what love means to me as opposed to when I was just a, a wife maybe or even single, I think it has changed because of uh, the, the dynamic of motherhood has shaped what love means to me. So now, um, I don't think I have ever, ever been as vulnerable a person um, as motherhood has made me <laughs> so oh, for yes, me I understand love is just really opening up um and allow allowing yourself to um just say here you know here i am you know you have me right and right just, so like, i so don't know you more like just giving up yourself you know being able to just let go and allow uh, yourself to freely give to another without mm -hmm. considering anything else right. yeah without restrictions and it's hard and that's it is it is hard to love but in the same instance um, sometimes it is um, hard not to love like mm -hmm. with giving with child. birth exactly right, right. you know it's like it just is it right. just happened i couldn't like you don't stop have it. just like a train on a track you right. can't stop it right, and all right. and then but in in the instance with like perhaps romantic relationships and stuff right you know you can kind of put up walls right and you can and just like guard yourself and decide how much vulnerability you're going to give and this that and the other and all right. but i think like with true love, it's just. It just is. And, yeah. I, and when you talk about it, child, I remember I was going through with my daughter and um, and it was very a very difficult time. And uh, an older lady on my job, she came to me and she said, baby, you carry your child in your womb for nine months, but you carry them in your heart for the rest of, for your, the rest life. of your life. And when she said that, I, I, it was so true mm -hmm. because the pain that I felt as a result of what my daughter was going through and what I was going through with her, it, the, it, it kind of felt even like a greater pain than labor. And we know oh, about the labor pains, yeah. but, um, and I remembered that, you know, and I still remember that because it is true. It rings true. It, it's that so true. You your child yeah. in your heart for the rest of your life. So, um, so that, that is awesome. So you look at love as being something where it's in, when, from a perspective of being a mom that 
you know, there's it's a power that you cannot control. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. Right. So with that being said, uh, share an experience that you've had with your with your daughter in terms of uh, love and how maybe you express it or an experience that you guys had together or, you know, seeing her for the first time, you know, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's the first part of really the, the train getting started, just started. looking at them when you... There's that instant connection and all. And right. It's right. been, um, Tyler is now uh, getting ready to graduate high school. So that's presenting a whole new, um, interesting journey as well into letting go <laughs> right. and all. Right. And, um, and we've been particularly close and it's been interesting, um, with my journey with Tyler, because, um, I think about it, had she been the type of daughter that I was, it would have been a whole different relationship. But my daughter, uh, from the time that she was very young, has had like some learning differences. Oh, okay. And so navigating like school, life, everything with her, it, it, it has not been an easy uh, journey for her. Mm. And in loving her, I felt like I experienced so much of what she was going through. I mean, the mama lion coming out right, all the time, right. wanting to protect your kid mm -hmm. and seeing uh, her challenges in school, seeing how, you know, uh, she was viewed in various classrooms. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember in fifth grade or fourth grade or one of those early grades, she came home and we, you know, we did all the testing, you know, you go right. through and you do the psychoeducational testing, you get labeled this or labeled that and, oh, you know, maybe you need to try a medication, this, that, and the other. And um, she came home one day from school and uh, she just burst into tears. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the gut wrenching in your soul. I'm so, you know, wounded kind of thing. And she said, why is it so hard for me? Oh. And to hear a fourth grader who's right. just kind of started in life, who hasn't yes. really experienced anything, talk about it being a hard journey for her. Yeah. You talk about like right. in your gut right. kind you of stab me right here. Yeah. yeah. So, but in the same instance, um, it has her struggles have really uh, brought us closer together. And I think it has allowed me to be even more vulnerable in my love for her and all because, you know, the expectations that parents have of their kids and all, you know, with the platitudes and the, labels on the back of your car. My right, daughter right. is an A plus student at whatever, whatever high school. We never had any of that stuff or right. at the end of the year getting, you know, the certificates of this, that, and the other. She never had any of that. We never had any of that. So what we had was this person who we didn't put like the labels or expectations or anything like that. Just a just a pure kind of love of her and self without, and you know, her to just be, yeah, to, to just be. be without all the other stuff. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I think in the end now looking at the person she is, the loving, empathetic, just, uh, open person that she is, I think part of that came from, her challenges and her struggles and all of that. So um, that whole experience in parenting her right. has actually uh, made me better, mm -hmm. made me a better person, made me a better uh, parent, a better mother, right. made me understand love even more so because I was like the opposite kind of kid. I can't ever remember my parents sitting down with me and having to help me with homework or anything like that. I was Miss 
overachiever. Yes, you know, and back then when they had the stickers, your oh, mom, yeah. your mom probably could have filled the whole car. Right, we'd with have stickers. the stickers and <laughs> right, the this, that, right. the other, and 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 all of that stuff. And so, in my head, I think when she was born, I sort of just expected that. So it took me it just totally through me for yes. a loop. Yeah, when I'm like, you know, and she's in pre-K and they're like, oh, we want to think about some interventions and stuff. And I'm right. thinking like, not my brilliant child. What are you talking about? Right, you right. know, the fruit of my womb here, you know, no. Right. But I think um, ultimately not her pain, of course, or her struggle. Any parent would not want your kid to go through right. any of that. You'd want the easy way for them and all. But I think you know, how they say, what is it, out of the ashes, yeah. you know. Yes. Totally however nice. that you know, comes. Yeah, there. exactly. So I think, you know, ultimately that happened for And And one of us. the things that, you know, as you, you speak of that, and you said that because of what your daughter went through, you were able to experience love, you know, in a from a greater place mm -hmm. and one of the things that I learned about love is like when you love someone else you experience it first because mm -hmm. it has to flow through you right you know so by you having and your daughter having the challenges that she did you you felt like she needed more of you okay. know love mm -hmm. or you mm -hmm. opened your heart up for her it to is. receive more of that love oh, yeah. more often because of what she was going through so and then with your daughter being who she is she, you know, learned compassion because she understood, you know, when she saw others going through different challenges, she understood what they were going through because she experienced it. And she probably and wanted hurts. to demonstrate. It's not easy. Right. I mean, that kind of, right. it is not easy. Right. It hurts all the time. Oh, I hurt right, right. many days, many nights for her because you know, I would her sit pain. there exactly right. and go to these programs and just pray, oh, Please let them call her name. Right. <laughs> let them call her. <laughs> let her get something right. or whatever right. and all. And so, but I'm telling you, uh, the love, the shared experience, the, the all of that, um, it has been uh, ultimately uh, a blessing. Right. You know, it has made me pay more attention and all. And I think, like I was saying, with the kind of kid I was, I think... I, I would have not had this relationship with my daughter had she been me. And they say that God gives you the, the child that you're supposed to parent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's as much for your growth and all right. of that as for them. And that is true. And that yeah. True. Right. We always think it has nothing to do with us. But exactly. But yeah, everything in our life has to do with us. And we mm -hmm. want to, just because we were given a gift of a child, they also have a journey even from, you know, the, the little fourth grader mm -hmm. that was part of her journey it right. was part of her becoming who she is and in, in being molded into the the wonderful young lady she is so you said she's getting ready to graduate <laughs> oh, and yeah. so now you know the the other question i have for you how are you or how do you allow love in your life and how will you allow love in your life since you won't have that that focus of attention mm -hmm. you know that uh, that you give to your daughter you know often and now what, what are you going to do? Mm, that's interesting. In terms of <laughs> the love that you, 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 right. you allow to flow through you to your daughter daily because she's going to be gone. Yeah. So what are you going to do with different. that love now? How are you going to allow that love in your life? That's, um, that's something that I think about. You know, I get all misty eyed when I think about her graduating because I've always wanted to be the house, you know, for her and her friends, the place that they can come. I wanted them there. And it's a different kind of energy when like her friends and she's there and this, that, and the other. And I think, you know, because of her uh, learning differences and, and all, I've just been way more involved, just right. even more involved typically than you would be. And so taking that away and reexamining who I am without that is going to be a challenge. I, and it's so funny, you know, that we're talking and I'm not even bringing up my husband. At oh, all, oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Well, I guess that's an important. I guess I should allow some love in there with him right. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, maybe, maybe once your daughter's going, you yeah, exactly. Her, maybe little, I'll give up a little bit. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. I I 
I was talking to a girlfriend about it, and I said, you know, uh, we were married for a few years before, so there wasn't, a, I did exist before I had Tyler, mm -hmm. and that relationship existed, you know, as a twosome rather than a threesome, so um, I, I, I don't know. Well, uh -huh. I'm glad you were on the show. Oh, yes. And so <laughs> now, what I need you to do, I'm going to give you some homework, because I am a a life coach and okay. when I'm done, not to say that this was a coaching session, but I always give my my clients homework. I'm so good your with homework, homework is for you to yeah, sit back and think about how you are going to allow love in your right. life with Tyler in another, you know, living somewhere else and doing right. her thing so that she can learn who she is and allow love in her life. And you can send her off with that. Oh, thank you, Tracy. I'll yeah, do that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank uh -huh. you so much again for sharing. I'm sure the the mothers out there, you know, there are so many parents out there who go through this. They they set their lives aside and they allow so much love to their children. And when they're gone, they feel lost. But what I, I want to say to the, the audience or the viewers is that um, love is all there is. It is a force that gives life to everything and everyone. It is experienced and expressed in many different ways. And to the degree that you allow love will be to the degree that you will experience it and have the capacity to express it. My name is Tracy Johnson, and this is Allowing Love. Until next time, thank you. The journey of life often creates blockages of doubt, fear, and disbelief. This can dam up our hearts and hinder the flow of love. To find out more about Allowing Love, contact Tracy Johnson at allowing528hz at gmail.com or call 678-653-2688.